Hi everyone, it's me, it's Kathy with Cat with Cat. I'm just here relaxing at home. Um, yeah, so not a whole lot to say today. I just, uh, I just hate to go a, a whole week without some kind of video. So I do hope that you enjoyed the, um, the ocean video that I posted before this. Um, of course that was uh, yesterday we went to um, my husband and I we went to um, the baby beach which is actually the Pu'unoa beach I think it is um, but locals call it the baby beach and the reason is because it's really mellow it's really calm it's shallow enough where the, a lot of families can come and, and their kids can play in the water without fear of being washed out because the, the waves break way off in the distance and that long um, bridge was actually, it's called the Mala Ramp. It used to be a big port here in Lahaina. So that was the, the before video. And then before this video ends, I'm going to show you another video from this morning um, down at the, actually it'll be two videos kind of cobbled together from this morning at the, um, the beach by the Cheeseburger in Paradise where we, where we usually go. Um, just beautiful weather. I'm enjoying myself tremendously. Um, so as you'll notice, I have been a little lax um, with posting to my blog and to the YouTube channel and different things. And I think it's just, I'm getting used to the routine. It's been a little challenging for me because um, I'm not used to working all day, although I am getting used to it now. but. So I work five days, I have two days off, Wednesday and Thursdays um, so far. And so today of course is Thursday. And a big change happened. Um, my husband got a job. And so for the first time in months, it's just me. <laughs> I'm here by myself. I went to the beach this morning all by myself. Found a couple really pretty little shells. Um, yeah, and then I came home, got changed. Um, as you'll see behind me, I actually, um, we put up some decorations, no pictures yet because we're still looking for some local art that's not an arm and a leg. <laughs> we want some inexpensive art. So we're still looking for some art to put on the walls. Um, yeah, uh, but we do have a lot of seashells and sea glass and things like that. So we do have those in our little containers. And so we decorated a little bit and um, yeah, so that's what I did today. I cleaned, I it gets dusty here really fast. So I cleaned, I put um, the decorations up from what I have. Uh, yeah, and so we rearranged the apartment. Um, it was a little crowded, so we did that. And uh, yeah, so that's what I'm doing today. I'm just waiting for my husband to get home and so um, it's been kind of mellow. I did go down to Lahaina and I got some, uh, I wish I had taken a picture of it. It's called Dole Whip and um, it's this awesome ice cream and so I did have that today. Uh, yeah, so um, back to the channel. I have been um, just real busy with work and everything and tired. And, and get my schedule done so I have not done any work on my next book which I am really trying to get started again you know it's hard sometimes when you're when you when you're unable to do something for a while and then you get out of the habit of doing it well that's what writing is is it's it has to become a habit 
and unfortunately, um, just due to life and busyness in general, uh, with the moving and the getting things set up and everything, it's been a little bit challenging for me to get back into the swing of things. The other issue is that I really feel like um, I really feel like God is moving me kind of into a different direction, and I'm not quite certain where that's going. So I have pulled back a little bit with with the write with the blogs and stuff because I. I want to be sensitive to what God wants me to do and so I'm just I've been praying it over thinking about it um, taking some time just to think and so the majority of my posts have been about Maui just because um, like I said I'm I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna go from here so um, then there's the other issue is the time difference um, most of my subscribers are in Arizona where I used to be and uh, we're three hours earlier here in Maui and so remembering that if I post something at noon here it's going to actually post at three o'clock in Arizona um, has been a bit of a challenge uh, and so I'm not sure where I'm going so it's kind of a, <laughs> like a little bit of a mess but that's okay because God has been faithful and so um, yeah and so uh, I am getting stirred about a new book series that I've been kind of playing with um, it's it's gonna be different than than anything I've written um, I will share more about that in the coming weeks um, it's gonna be a 13 book series I think I've mentioned it before it's going to be about mermaids and the beach and the ocean and um, an island and all that stuff. And so, um, yeah, I, I, I'm starting to get really excited about that. It's a, uh, gosh, just, you know. And so I'm, I'm working on some backstory on that, figuring out what I want to do with it exactly. Then I also have a couple other works in progress that I'm thinking about doing. One is going to be like a murder mystery. Um, I'm kind of excited about that one. I've never written something like that before, but I really have a strong uh, feeling about that. And one, an, another one, I'm thinking about doing a um, kind of a romance kind of thing. Um, not sure yet though uh, where that story is going. I just have a general idea on that one. But so for the most part. Um, even though I'm not writing anything I am brimming with ideas I just have to have I just have to reschedule all my um, time that's what it is is time so um, yeah so next week hopefully my goal I'm gonna announce it here next week is to get started writing on my Fritchin book um, I kind of gave up on Camp NaNoWriMo it's already midway through April and I haven't even started it so I'm just gonna write I'm gonna start next week um, on my days off um, since Brian's working now I can take some time and dedicate that just to that because our schedules are so different are gonna be different and so I want to spend as much time as I can with my husband and so um, yeah that's where that's going so for all of my Fritchin family out there I haven't forgotten I'm still trying to get it done by August um, it's just proving to be a bit of a challenge so yeah so I don't know I don't know what else to say um, like I said I just wanted to touch base with everybody and and make sure you know that I'm still here I'm still writing I'm still plotting I'm still oh, planning I'm still doing all kinds of stuff I just um, it's all in my head right now it's it's not actually on paper and so uh, yeah so I'm gonna spend the rest of the afternoon till my husband gets home doing some plotting um, and I'll probably post uh, this first thing in the morning so you'll get it tomorrow which is Friday uh, just because it's kind of late by the time this is gonna get out and I want you to get it first thing in the morning so okay so 
As you know, I wrote my book Redeemed. It's I'm so appreciative to those who have already purchased it. If you haven't, please uh, head to Amazon. There'll be an ad for it tacked onto the end of this video. Um, please head over there. I've got three other novels, um, Never Forsaken, Never Forgotten, and Never Forfeited. It's a trilogy. Um, please uh, check those out as well. Um, quite frankly, I could really use um, the confidence boost in having somebody, uh, you guys purchase it. There have been a couple purchases of, of some of my books in the last week or two. So thumbs up for you guys. I really appreciate that. Um, if you've never written anything or made anything to sell, um, you have no idea how awesome it is to log on to your sales dashboard and have the little graph pop up and say a book's been sold. Um, it just thrills my heart. For those of you who've already purchased it, if you could head over to Amazon and maybe put a um, review on if you've already read it, I would really appreciate that. Otherwise, yeah, so I will talk to you later. Uh, don't forget, I am really trying to get up to a thousand subscribers with these YouTube videos because um, that would enable me to be able to do live videos. I would really love to be able to do live videos from the beach and stuff, but I can't do that with a, um, unless I have a thousand subscribers. I'm so excited. I've gained, um, well, last week, I don't know if I told you, I had 14 subscribers. I posted a video and then I lost one subscriber. Well, I've gained two subscribers, so now I have 15. So I'm so excited to have 15 subscribers, but like I said, I'm trying to get up to a thousand, so I would appreciate any help that you guys could give me on that. Um, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, which is a like. It tells YouTube whether you like this content and it'll help get it out into the feed so more people can see it. Uh, subscribe, ring the bell so you get notified the next time I post. Um, comment, let me know your thoughts. Um, let me know what, if, if there's a specific thing you want me to talk about. Um, I would love to um, to chat. That's why I, I named the channel Chat with Cat because I love to chat. Um, yeah, so just, you know, God is good. Um, he's just good. And I think I'm going to make a video pretty soon just... A testimony video uh, I feel like I should do that but anyway so um, this next set of two there are two little short videos are from this morning uh, on my time at the beach it's beautiful there um, the weather was beautiful uh, the um, ocean wasn't as uh, rough as it was yesterday so that's nice I did go a little bit later in the in the morning um, yeah, so I just want to tell you that I love you. I miss everybody there. Um, yeah, so enjoy the coming videos, and I will talk to you next next week. Mahalo.